today is New Year's Eve and um, I'm off to a little bit of a party with some friends. I hope you guys are all going to have a, a lovely new year and hope you've had a lovely Christmas and happy holidays and uh, yeah and I just want to say a big thank you to everyone for coming along with my pouring journey this year in 2019. It has been amazing and I'm really really looking forward to 2020 so we'll see what that brings but I just wanted to say thanks again and wish you all a lovely 2020 hope it brings you much love and happiness and um, good fortune so yeah thanks again have a lovely new year I'll see you next year bye for now G'day guys, welcome back. I haven't got my gloves on yet because <laughs> I'm just going to tell you about my pour, my swipe today and then I'm going to pour the black background on and I'm going to give it a bit of a wipe over to um, cover everything um, and I'll just do that off camera so I don't bore you and then I will be back. I am doing a pour today inspired by the lovely Kathleen Osmore from Cos Creations. Hi Kathleen! <laughs> um, I, I really, really love these colours that she's done in her recent video. Uh, I'll show you my little test piece that I just did. That's it there. Um, it's a bit lighter, I think, than, than hers. I don't have the exact same colours and I don't use the same pouring medium that she uses, but I was really inspired to give these colours a go. So, I hope she won't mind. Hope you don't mind, Kathleen. All right, um, I'm just using Floetrol. That's all I use for my pouring medium. The black is Artist Loft Black, and that's mixed four parts Floetrol to one part Artist Loft. If you don't have Artist Loft, you can use um, Global, Montmartre, whatever you want. You'll just have to add some more water to it. All right, so. Um, I'll put the video on pause. I'll get my gloves on. I'll cover my canvas in black. Oh, and the other thing I meant to tell you, um, I'm not using my normal plastic. I'm going to go with paper towel. Never, ever done it before, eh? So we'll see what happens. I've always done my plastic swipe, so I'm going to give it a go. So that's a little bit different for me today. So we'll see how that goes. Back in a sec. Right, -o, so that's done. Get my gloves back on. Beautiful, uh, smooth coat of black there. Now my colours. I have got. I've made up quite a bit, so I've got actually quite a lot of paint left over. So I'm probably going to see these colours again. Uh, let's start with the white. So the white is my Artist Loft Flow, and that is mixed two parts flow troll to one part of the paint. Okay, so two to one. The black, I've made up a little bit more black. It's also two to one. It's actually probably two and a half to one because the black's a little bit thicker, just in case I want to add some more black. And then I've got this bronze. It's called... Uh, antique bronze or bronze antique by Deco Art. That I have mixed two to one with the flow troll. The teal is the Deco Art metallics teal. I just happen to have all these colours. I've got a really good supply of paint actually. Um, this one I've mixed one to one because I found it quite thin. So that's one to one. And then this one is the extreme sheen in the bronze. I didn't want to go gold, I thought it would be a little bit bright, so I've gone the, the bronze. It's more of an orangey, goldish colour. So that's my colours. And I've put them into these little cups here so that I don't pour too much out. But as you see, I've still got lots, so I'm going to probably do these colours again. Right, um, let's get started. I want mainly black in the centre. So, 
Um, I like swiping with the black and I like swiping with the white because they're both opaque colours and they give me the lacing. So I'll swipe with black, I'll swipe with white and the other colours will be underneath. Okie doke, so let's do some little stripes, not too much. One of them. And some teal. Don't mind if it goes over the top or overlaps a little bit. And the bronze. And then I'll do the same on the other side, I think. I don't know that I'm in the middle, but anyway, probably not quite in the middle. I don't want the bronze to get, the teal to get lost, so I should have started that off the side. I don't know why I didn't. So yeah, I don't want the teal to get lost. Now I'm going to put a little bit of white just through there and through there and I'm going to put a little bit of extra black just through the centre because this black is a little bit thicker than my base colour black. So those are all my colours. I've still got heaps left. All right, now this is nerve wracking because I haven't, as I said, I haven't done this. Apart from my little practice pour there that I showed you, I haven't done the paper's towel swipe. Oh, now I need to make some room. So I've got all my little sheets of paper towel cut up into different sizes. And I'm going to start with <laughs> that size there. So I'm going to put them over here on the corner. I've got my little spray bottle. And I think this is what you do. I think you just spray the edge, don't you? You don't have to spray the whole thing. Spray the edge. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to just try and get into the black there. And I'm going to try and put a little bit of pressure on it as I go down. Okay. Now, I don't know if I use that again or not. <laughs> I am going to, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> still fighting this flu. I am going to swap, try and swipe up. Because I don't want to turn the canvas. All right, so that's the first one. <clears throat> Yay, I did it. <clears throat> and... <clears throat> Now I'm going to use a slightly bigger one. So I'm going to do different sizes, bigs and smalls. Oops, come on little squirty bottle, do your thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Now here I'm going to touch into, the, this is difficult to hold, isn't it? It doesn't want to stay where it's told because it's wet. <laughs> this is why the, <coughs> the um, plastic's so much easier. <laughs> there we go. <coughs> Lovely. Um, so I'll do this and then I'll use my smaller ones and I'll, I might come in um, with some other colours. Just to get a little bit of a difference. I'll pop that in the black again. Okay, that's that one done. Oh, that got lots of cells. I went really slowly with that one. Maybe it, maybe that's why. Don't know. Now, I want a little bit of... Um, I would like a little bit of white in the middle. Do I want white in the middle? Hmm. Yeah, why not? I'll swipe with a little bit of white. And I'm going to use one of the smaller pieces that I've got. Squirt, squirt. <coughs> no, I think I'm touching the blue there. I wonder if I've got too much paint on the surface. Because you can't see a lot of the background, but then this, this type of swipe, you don't really see the background, do you? I mean, it comes up underneath, but you don't really see 
a lot of it. Let's try for some teal. I think I'm putting more pressure as I swipe away from myself. I think I am. Because I'm sort of pushing down. I should try push down a little bit more here because I'm getting better cells up there. <laughs> okay. Back to a bigger piece. I'll have to cover up that little bit of white there. I'm not liking that. Okay, let's see if I can. I don't think I can handle a bigger piece than this. My gosh. It would just flop all over the place. I'm going to go slow and pull a little bit more pressure on it. So we've got different coloured cells everywhere, haven't we? I'll use this one again. And a little bit of the black, but pull that teal through, I think. Hopefully I'm not getting my big head in the way. <laughs> Definitely have to get rid of that white blob there. Um, what next? Let's go with a smaller one next. Spray bottles don't work very well when you're holding them upright. <laughs> now then, um, let's see, let's grab a little bit of this gold, hey? that and then I might just break that up a little bit so it doesn't look as if it's exactly opposite okay I'm liking the more the black in the center so I'm gonna to have to add a little bit more black here and there and then swipe again that's really pretty that one and then We'll finish off with this one. Am I going so far? Am I doing all right for a first time? <laughs> oh dear. I'm off a little bit more gold there. It's certainly not as controlled as it is with the plastic. I find the plastic, you know, I get exactly what I want, where I want it. This is a little bit different. A little bit, uh, yeah, a little bit different. I don't think it's as easy. I'm gonna put some more teal there. And a little bit of black just above it. Squirt, squirt, squirt. I'm getting a wet table. <laughs> okay, here we go. Put that into the black. And hopefully just disguise that bit of white a little bit. I'm going a bit wobbly, aren't I? Okay, so that's good. It's very different to my, my normal swipes <clears throat> that I do with the plastic. As I said, I do want to keep the black in the center because I'm losing my black background. So I do want to keep that. And let's pop a little bit more teal just here. I don't want all the teal to get eaten up by the gold and the bronze. Okay. That's good. Now I just need to break up this little section here. How's that looking so far, you guys? Let's put a bit of this bronze in. The bronze isn't really a 
holding its own. Gold is certainly taking over, I think. Oh, not bronze. Gold. Well, I'm calling it gold. It's bronze. Bronze and what have I got? I've actually got antique bronze and bronze. <laughs> That's confusing, isn't it? Just putting a little bit of black back through the centre there. I don't like that blobby bit there, so it's going to have to go, unfortunately. And I got a little, a little thin one, so I'll use that one. And I don't think it actually needs any more paint on it. I'm just going to pick up the, the black. There we go. And then. My, my line's not very straight. I stand here on the edge, I can see. Um, I was going to put some more black down here, but I think I should keep that little bit of lightness there because I haven't got a lot of lightness. What do you think? Should I stop there? What do you think, Kathleen? Is it okay? Not as good as yours, hey? But it's okay. Um... As my little practice one, see my practice one's got more white in it, which I do like. Mm, what do you think? Should I put some more white in it? Oh, well, now I don't know. I might, I might, because I just think it's, <clears throat> I just think it's lacking a little bit. Um, let's just try a little bit of white just there. And I might just add some here and there. We'll see how it goes with the white. Um, that was a lot of white, wasn't it? I think I kind of need to cut some more pieces of paper. So now I've only got this little one that I was going to turn that way, but now I'm turning it this way. Okay, what do we think of the white? I think the difference is I had like a block of white in the center. So I don't really think that little bit of white there matches. My next one, my next one, maybe I'll have more white in the center. Okay, so yeah, that didn't work very well. So let's get rid of that. And black through the center because I need to swipe with the black and this piece here will do. Oh, I hope it's okay. As I said, I haven't done this before, so I'm hoping it's it's okay. All right, here we go. I think that's better than the white. It's got little bits of white here and there. Um, that's a bit much there, that stripe. It's a bit much for me. Let's just go over that tiny little bit again. And I'm being a bit picky now, aren't I? A little bit picky. So it certainly is sort of a darker, moodier painting. To what I would normally do, that's for sure. I can see a little bit of bare canvas there. I must have dragged a little bit too heavy handedly. I'm just going to pop that bit of paint back there. I know that's quite dark there now, but I think it's okay. I'm 
just going to pop some of that thin black there. I can still see the canvas. I've made a bit of a dent there. All right, that'll do. Okay, I think I'll leave it at that. Quit while I'm ahead before I ruin it. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I would like to see, I don't know, it's because I'm used to doing the plastic. I'd love to see how, you know, I did it with the plastic, but with the paper towel, you do get a different look. You get this, these lines all the way down, whereas with the plastic, it's kind of more blurring. You know how when I was doing that sort of faded into the background with the plastic, with the paper towel, you don't get that. You get more of the lines all the way through. There's a little bit there where it's kind of blurred into the background. But um, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it, it is a different look. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to take this paper towel away so that you can see the edge. And I'll take it down for a close-up. You can see what you think of this one, hey? Is it too busy? I don't, I'm just really doubting myself now because I haven't done these before. I'm just not sure what to expect. Right, let's go and have a little look at it. Um, now, looking at it from up here, that top left corner, I think it needs more, more gold. This bit here, a bit more gold or a bit more bronze. What do you think? Oh, yeah, all right, just a little bit in the middle. There, a little bit more teal. Black to swipe with. And I just need to... It's a bit wide. I'm just going to cut that down a bit. My little pair of scissors here. And I'll give that a spray. Okay, I just felt that it needed a little bit of something extra. I want to touch those blue cells. Yes, 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 yes. Look at that. Wow. Yes, that's what it needed. You can see what I mean about this black swiping over the other colours. When I when I get you down and show you, um, you can see how it separates the, the colour, the, the metallics. It's kind of like um, it creates lacing. Now I want to do that over here. I'm going to break this little bit up. Let's put some of this antique bronze down. And I should have enough black. Oh, maybe not. Just to put a little bit more black there. Hopefully I'm not leaving too much paint on the surface. I'm just going to use one of these little guys just to break up that block there it adds a little bit more black to it a little bit of drama just breaks up that block Now I feel that this has got too much white in it. <laughs> oh dear. All right, let's go again. Might do a bit of the bronze on the top, actually. And that should be enough. There should be enough teal underneath it. A bit more black there. Oh, no, I won't use that. It's all scrappy now, isn't it? Here's another piece. I really like those cells that I'm, I'm getting there. Let's try it with the, the black with this 
antique bronze. Just break up this white a little bit. Trying to go straight. Okay. Righto, that's it. I'm done. No more fiddling, Julie. Put the paint away. Okay, I'm happy with that. It just broke up all that white, so I've still got some on each side. Um, I'm trying not to make it too too busy. So let's just leave it alone. Back away from the canvas. <laughs> oh, it's really pretty. All right, let me take you down for a close-up. Turn the light off. Okay. Oops. Making a shadow. It's not this light. I've got a I'm gonna have to turn the light down. I've got a window there on my left and the sun's coming in and making it look lighter and sickly, but it's not. It's like this. So you can see the black swipe there. All right, turn it down again. So that's the bronze and that's the antique bronze. There's a bit of a difference. And you can see the teal coming through. I'm not focusing very well, I'm sorry. It doesn't like me changing the colour when I'm on autofocus. I'll show you the dry product once it's done. It just looks a lot more pale through the, the screen here. We'll turn around. <clears throat> Look at that shimmer. Shimmer, shimmer. So got some teal cells with the gold cells. So it's not really <clears throat> like my little test piece, I guess, because the test piece had that white through the center. But that's okay. As I said, I've got more paint there waiting to go. I am going to have to fix that blob there. I don't like that. I'm going to have to just take the top off that so it's, um, yeah, just a bit more black in the centre. But what do you think? Do you like it? <laughs> Not as good as yours, Kathleen, but hey, I'll keep trying, hey? It's a lot paler than hers, I think. Maybe I've got too much white in it. They're never the same, doesn't matter. You can use the same colours and the same everything and they're just all different, which is what's great about this type of art. They're all individual. All right, I'm just going to go and fix up that little bit there on the bronze and um, I'll show you this in a few days once it's dried, okay? Okay, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.